Okay. Uh, yesterday. I ain't even gonna lie to you, man. It's looking wild. I ain't even gonna lie to you, man. It's looking like the apocalypse is upon us. The Mad Max universe is finna collide with ours. Stuff is happening, and, and yeah, your boy just feels like he needs to talk about it. So yesterday, if you have not been living under a rock, history was quite literally, uh, made. We're watching U.S. history take form right in front of our eyes yeah so basically former president trump was actually shot at a rally yesterday and it was a failed assassination attempt and we all saw this in real time and i figured we'd just take a look at this video and uh let's talk about it so yeah let's watch this video and then the worst president in the history of our country took over and look what happened to our country probably 20 million people and you know, that's a little bit old, that chart. That chart's a couple of months old, and if you uh, want to really see something that's sad, take a look at what happened. Oh. Okay, we are watching live at a rally in Butler, Pennsylvania, where former President Trump was speaking on the stage. There has been some kind of disturbance that clearly sets law enforcement and Secret Service into motion, immediately jumping around the former president in a protective mode. The crowd has been screaming. They are standing by. You can hear some voices there saying, are we ready to go? Are we ready to go? We are looking at President Trump. This does not look good. I'm going to be honest with you, from what we can see right here, it looks like they are attempting to move him out that he may have been injured. He is holding up his arm. He is pumping his fist, but clearly Secret Service wants to get him out of this situation. He is attempting to stand and walk on his own. He has got his hand pumping, pumping in the air. His fist is pumping in the air, but quickly they are removing him from the stage. I don't know about you guys, but that was uh, kind of a, a wild clip. Clearly those are gunshots. There's been a lot of people saying that they're not gunshots. The whole situation is fake. Yeah, I, I don't. I wouldn't say that that is a high caliber round that's being shot, um, a high caliber weapon. I've seen people saying this sounds like a 22, something like that. Those definitely sounded like gunshots to me. And as you can see, Trump falls down under the podium and the stage is bum rushed by Secret Service agents. And when he comes up, you can see his ears bleeding and he's pumping his fist. So that's a lot to dissect in itself. Honestly, I don't think this is fake. There are sources saying there was an attendee at the rally that was killed as well, and I think somebody else was critically injured. The shooter was killed almost immediately. There's another video angle of a Secret Service agent dude guy on a roof with his own sniper rifle, and he appears to eradicate the threat. All right, so here's the angle of the Secret Service sniper returning fire at the would-be assassin. Really see something that said, take a look at what happened. Oh. What Alright, so to break down this clip, let's take a leather look at it. I really see something that said, take a look at what happened. If you notice in this video, the Secret Service agent guy kind of notices the shooter, actually looks up in shock almost, and then looks back down in his scope, and that's when the shooter shoots, and then he returns fire a little while later after he gets him in his sight. What happened? So here we go. Look looks up, happened. notices him. And I believe those last couple shots were him returning fire. So yeah, that's another angle of the situation. I know there's more angles. Here's a diagram that Tim Kennedy, if you guys are familiar with him, posted. Here's where the shooter was. Here's where the Secret Service agent was. 
in relation to Trump on the stage. Yeah, right here in this tweet, he says that it was 150 yards. Shooting at Trump from 150 yards away off the roof of a building and trying to do that very quickly is probably is probably very challenging to do. This is not a Green Beret uh, Navy SEAL we're talking about. This is a 20-year-old guy. That's right. They have came out and said and kind of identified the guy. Here is a video of the shooter on the rooftop laying there uh, unalived. Obviously, I'm gonna have to blur this out, but to get a, kind of an idea, this is kind of what we got going on here. So, as you can see, he is deceased on the roof. I think they hit him because the guy is, it looks bad. So, so from what I've been seeing, there's a lot of mystery around who the shooter was, but what I've gathered is it's a guy named Thomas Matthew Crooks, who is a 20-year-old, and an AR-15 was found on the scene. This is a picture of the alleged shooter right here. And the reason I say alleged is because I don't know. I mean, that's this is who everybody's saying it is. So a little while after this, Biden actually released a statement in response to this. Let's take a listen to that. I have tried to get a hold of Donald. Uh, he's uh, they Apparently, he's doing well. I plan on talking to them shortly, I hope, when I get back to the uh, telephone. Look, there's no place in America for this kind of violence. It's sick. It's sick. It's one of the reasons why we have to unite this country. We cannot allow for this to be happening. We cannot be like this. We cannot condone this. And so, and I want to thank the Secret Service and all the agencies, including the state agencies, that have been engaged in making sure that the people who, and we have more detail to come relative to other injured, other people maybe injured in the audience. I don't have all that detail. We'll make that available to you. I may be able to come back a little later tonight, but we'll put out a statement if we don't, if I'm not able to give it, if, we're, if it's not convenient for you all. But the bottom line is, the, the Trump rally was a rally that he should have been able to can be conducted peacefully and without any problem. But the idea, the idea that there's political violence or violence in America like this is just unheard of. It's just not appropriate. And we, everybody, everybody must condemn it. Everybody. I'll keep you informed, and if I am able to speak to the to Donald, I'll, I'll let you know that as well. Biden. We now have political violence, literal assassination attempts in modern day United States. This is history in the making. We're looking more like a third world country than ever. I'm not some kind of political expert. I'm not anyone that you should trust with political views and opinions and advice. But man, when it comes to stuff like this, this is where the line starts getting crossed. This is crazy, man. But yeah, the situation is still being investigated. There's more stuff coming out. So we're just gonna have to see where things lead. A lot of people think this is fake. A lot of people think that uh, this is too far drawing the line, that this is real. A person died. Just a regular innocent civilian at the rally has passed away. So in my opinion, I don't think the situation is fake. Either way, it's not a good situation. I just wanted to talk about this and I'd love to know what you think about this. So leave a comment. Let me know how you feeling about this. What the hell is going on? Anyway, that's all for the video. I'm Dawson. Peace.